Are we cool? It's Hulk in a hot tub. Oh, that's uh, naked. He's very naked. <laughs> that's in my brain now. For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the Krypton pistol, which is the pistol that we get from the Cyberpunk event and it's part of the neon weapon set. I believe some people were also able to get it from birthday llamas. And although we do have one, we don't have it fully maxed out. But yeah, the ones we're gonna be using are ones that someone gave to me. And I believe somebody gave it to Cookies and then he gave it to me. So shout out to whoever gave it to Cookies for these two fully upgraded Krypton pistols. And the perks that they put on it were energy damage, damage magazine size, crit damage, damage to missed monsters and bosses, and getting five headshots in a row increases ranged weapon damage by 30% for 10 seconds. And at the very bottom, it says Pistol Neon shoots energized rounds at a rapid rate for high sustained damage. Deals energy damage, which is fairly effective against all types of elemental enemies. And this is what the Krypton pistol looks like up close. Sort of looks like it has a light switch on the back of it. And it also has some neon lights on the side, which I think look pretty cool. One thing I should point out though, is that you won't be able to change the element on it because it's a neon weapon and all neon weapons do energy damage. But yeah, I also wanted to scroll over every slot just to show you all of the available options. But yeah, these are the roles that we have on ours. But again, the one we're going to be using is this one that someone gave to us. And as for our loadout, we're going to be using Ranger Beetle Jess with Build Agent Rio in our support slot and Quick Draw Calamity in our tactical slot. And the mission we're going to be doing is this level 100 repair the shelter. And we're also going to be doing it solo. And I guess we'll go ahead and test it out against this level 100 elemental smasher as well. Let me smash. Oh. <laughs> Please. How to avoid smashers. That's the 200 IQ 4D chess move. <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. I want to do it again. Oh, it actually took some of his health away too. But before we get into the gameplay, I did want to test it out against this level 100 smasher. And the first thing I should probably point out is that it has 17 rounds in the magazine with our current rolls and our current loadout. And you will have to tap the trigger every time in order to shoot. And it also uses energy ammo. But yeah, that's what it looks like against the level 100 smasher. I guess I'll go ahead and show the fire rate as well. And I'm just gonna tap the trigger as fast as I can. Here we go. So yeah, that's what the fire rate looks like without any fire rate perks. And here's what the reload speed looks like without any reload speed perks kind of slow a little bit so you're just hanging out at the pool with my new smasher buddy did you just fall asleep yeah congratulations you're big okay i think we got a narcoleptic smasher but yeah, i thought it'd be pretty cool to just you know hang out at the pool with my new smasher buddy anyways let's go ahead and test it out against the level 100 elemental smasher here we go And I think if we move a little bit closer, we could do a little bit more damage. But yeah, that's what it looks like against the level 100 Nature Smasher. Let's go ahead and kill a blaster and a taker while we're at it. First, we're going to start off with the taker. Because I do not like takers. There we go. We were able to kill him pretty quick. And let's go ahead and try the blaster next. Fire rate's actually really good though, even though you'll have to tap the trigger every time in order to shoot it. Hey, oh my goodness, <laughs> they can jump on the pads as well. Oh man, <laughs> holy crap. I didn't know they could jump on that as well. That is amazing. That was incredible. Get on here, man. It's fun. Smasher. I promise it's fun, Smasher. You gonna get on here or what, man? You gonna try it out? There you go, man. How to have fun with your smasher. <laughs> I told you it was fun, smasher. Look, we having fun, y'all. All right, well, I think that'll do it for the examples. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, well, I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and get started. And I think what I'm gonna do is pull up the map the shelter has been damaged pretty every severely. time we find a module and show its location all right so here are three of the locations i need to go ahead and hurry up and There's pick an one of them up detected. 
We have some time before they arrive. You can search for missing parts now or reinforce the shelter. Here's another location. There's a couple more located really close to the shelter. And now we found the last two. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the map again. You can see they are all relatively close to the shelter. And we did have the map fully explored before we started. So yeah, that's usually the approach I use when it comes to finding the modules. I just try to look in the areas near and around the shelter and then work my way out. And most of the time they're located near the shelter. Defend the shelter. All right, so the first thing I should mention is that a patch did come out earlier today. And I'll leave a link to the patch notes in the description. We didn't really get anything new in regards to features. They just mentioned that the ghost pistol will be available in the store tomorrow after it refreshes. And they're also going to be selling a bit demo who's like the best explosive hero and save the world. I'll also leave a link to some 8 bit demo gameplay in the description. But yeah, we really didn't get a whole lot with today's patch. But yeah, I was trying to make like a little swimming pool trap, but it doesn't look like they're going to be spawning from this direction down here. And I think one of our defenders is down. We'll get him here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out on this flinger we got. A few things I don't like about it is that you can't change the element on it. It doesn't do as much damage as some of the other pistols we've got in gameplay of. The reload speed wasn't all that great either. And I also don't like how it requires energy ammo, which is the only type of ammo that requires bacon in order to craft. But yeah, when it comes to bacon, I kind of prefer to save them for my traps instead of using them for ammo. So those are a couple things I don't like about it. But yeah, like I said, we were trying to go for this swimming pool trap. I thought they may spawn from out here and come up here. And we were going to try to take them out uh, while they were in the swimming pool. Oh, we got trap vulnerable that is not good uh, let's go ahead and place down some traps if we can i tried not to go over the build oh, limit no Enemy and i'm not sure why i am attacking him i'm not really going to do any damage to him uh -uh. let's see if we can get his attention come over here man Can't. oh man this is going to be rough people i probably should have put like a you know what, let's go ahead and destroy this. We're gonna put a ceiling zapper, and that should help us out. Hopefully. Let's see. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Uh, we are using some defenders. There we go. Our ceiling zapper worked. We are using some defenders. I uh, didn't have that many 130 uh, Krypton pistols. So we only have one gunslinger that's using a Krypton pistol. We also have a rifleman. And we also have Grandpa using the Obliterator. But yeah, we've had quite a few people request that we get gameplay with the Krypton Pistol. So that's why we're uploading it today. Obviously, we'll get gameplay with the Ghost Pistol as soon as it becomes available. But after we get gameplay with that, let me know in the comments which weapons you all would like to see gameplay of next. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish taking out these Flingers real quick. Like I said, it does do pretty decent damage. But again, the main things I don't like about it are that it uses energy ammo, which requires bacon to craft. I also don't like that you have to tap the trigger every time to shoot. And the reload speed seems like it's pretty mediocre as well. Compared to some of the other pistols that I've tried, it's not really one of the best pistols in my opinion, but it does look pretty cool. The fire rate's pretty good, and it does do pretty decent damage. Oh, swing and a miss. But yeah, now that we've tried out the Krypton Pistol, I think I will end up leveling mine up to level 130. I'm not sure if I'll make all the perks legendary or not, because I don't think it's going to be a pistol that I'm going to use that often. That's it. This shelter is now ready for action. But yeah, here's the score that we got after completing and repair the shelter. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rewards. Anyways, as for our rewards, we ended up getting some gold, some XP, and legendary perk up. We also completed one of our daily quests. We also completed 
one of our other quests. I don't know if this was a side quest or a main quest. We also got some more gold because we killed a mini boss. We also got some Eye of the Storm and candy. And we got an evolution materials cache. We actually got a lot of stuff from that one mission. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. Let me know what y'all think about the Krypton pistol in the comments below. Hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.